Welcome back to Blaskov's Reviews. In this review, we're going to be doing some comparisons for the Action Force Steel Brigade made by Valiverse. Um, what I'm going to do in this video, um, this is going to be straight up uh, mods that are like official. What does that mean? Like, I'm not going to go and swap out parts from other figures and do customs or kit bashes. This is basically going to be a look at, you're going to have your initial release your reissue and they want to have the uh the mod of uh the steel brigade figure with the uh, steel brigade uh, gear pack and nothing more nothing less so this is basically what you're going to get straight out the box which is officially uh marketed so that'll be something a little different than you know currently out there so starting right here this is a steel brigade version one and as you can see You've probably seen in videos before, that's what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. And he comes with uh, this weapon here. Pretty nice. And then you can remove. Okay, can't do it through the camera. Ah, oh, it's stuck. There we go. See, it comes out. You get three of these little clips. And then you can store them right here for the extra two and then the other one you can just stick right back in starting his gun you do get this gun pistol here just flat black then we have this uh, knife very cool design black handle silver blade and this will fit oops I knocked him off the stand Let's see if I can get him to stand without the stand so you can see right here this knife will fit right inside there. So that's where that would go. And then you get, you know, two, four, six extra hands. Which you've probably seen in other reviews. This isn't that type of review. You guys probably have you probably have him because he's an older figure. But what I'm going to try to point out here is like there's claims that these there's a difference between version one and version two not material wise They're, when I got them both brand spanking new I had to heat up the joints on both figures the materials for the same nothing's changed nothing's been improved at all I mean the quality is the same um I just don't see it the only difference in, in the version 2 here you do get the gold head which is the commander's head but you get exactly the same weapons it is a reissue, remember. Same amount of hands, same pistol, same knife, but you get the alternate head. That's the only difference. But in quality, same quality. Nothing's changed. Nothing's been changed at all. Now, I'm not here to bash Volivers. I like Volivers very much. I think they're very cool. So don't get me wrong. I'm just putting out the facts. So, as long as you go and you open up your figures, you check your joints, heat them up, don't put them in water. That's going to cause paint rubs and warping of your figure. I've seen even the owner of Oliver said put them in water. Don't put them in water if you don't want to have your paint running or warpage um, from the water. Now, in version 3, right there, what I've done, I, you have to strip him down. So basically... You have to take off his head. You have to take off his vest, his belt, and his thigh pads. And then all of his accessories. So I'm trying to make it not so long of a video. Here is his parts, his vest, and his thigh pads. Put them in the baggie. And you get here's his heads, his assault rifle, and all of his hands, pistol, knife, all that stuff. So you have all that extra accessories going into this so basically what you'll have down is a gear down figure you're going to replace the head the vest and the thigh pads for a new loadout which is pretty cool so that's the official thing to do and what you get here is you get this black and tan AA-12 shotgun which is very nice it's a great weapon very nicely sculpted solid plastic very nice and so you get this, I think this is a scar, 
and two or three grenade launcher on it, some scopes. And then you have the removable clip. And it's stuck again. Again, there's that heating issue. Yeah, it's stuck in there pretty good. But it's removable. It's stuck. And then you get the two, you can see right there, two clips. That's what these look like. So you've got a total of three. And you get this pistol. It's like a, what is this thing? Hmm. Does it eagle? Maybe. And then the knife. You get this knife. Pretty cool. Um, but you're swapping out, you know, your assault rifles. I'm blocking the light here. Hold on one second. So you get, you're going to swap this one for this one. So it gives you a little bit of diversity in your loadouts for your figures. Pretty nice. So that's what I mean by official. Like that's what's recommended by the manufacturer. It says, here's you, you got to buy another. You basically have to buy the initial Silver Gade, regardless if it's version one or version two. Mine is a re release, which is a version two. You have to strip it down and then pay additional money. I could take you here. Iron Grenade figures $31.99. Then you add on another $13.99 to get the gear pack to give you this heavy weapons. Um, still pretty good. Okay, here they are all together. You have your commander in the center, your basic trooper, and then your, your heavy. So that's pretty cool. And then you can actually buy as many as you want of these guys, and you can't, um, army build them. Now you can add, if you're trying to stay within like a, a color scheme or a unison look, you're going to probably stay on this edge and then add the upcoming female Steel Brigade character. I believe she comes with the alternate head also. She would have a commander female and a soldier, which is silver. But it begs the, begs the differ. Like, do you need two commanders in your squad? Like, like if you buy one and you just want to have one squad, you only have one commander in, in a squad, you would think, right? I mean, you're going to have like a female squad or you're going to have a uh, squad of male and female. So would you technically have a, two, a female commander versus a male commander? It's kind of just like, uh, doesn't make sense. So, um, so it makes you think, do I need more than one of the female characters? And also, you can also add the uh, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive Night Ops um, Steel Brigade. I do have that, but I haven't got a chance to do a review or even open it. I've had it for a while now. But it is a really cool version of the um, Steel Brigade uh, team. So, it kind of looks like this. To me, it would be like an eyesore if you had him in here. Because you know, he's black and green. This is all this blue and brownish and green pie, color palette that we have here. So I'll go ahead and turn them around and we'll take a look at the um, back of the figures. As you can see here, no difference in the trooper and the commander, but the heavy has the very large uh, Steel Brigade logo on the back. It's pretty nice. Um, so really the only difference for these two versus the heavy would be the loadout positions so you, you have your clips up top here, your pistol here on the trooper and the commander. Over here you have your Desert Eagle and your clips that go here on the leg, nothing on the chest or back. So that's the difference in the uh, the loadouts for those. These are very cool figures. Get them. They're cool. You know, Add them to your G.I. Joe classified line, your Action Force figures. You know, get as many as you want. They're very cool. But just know there's no difference between the original and the reissue. So they cost thirty nine, thirty one ninety nine retail price on just the silver gate to get basically this or that. You know, you're just getting the extra head. And then thirteen ninety nine if you want to create the the heavy version of the uh steel brigade. Very cool. I do recommend them. Just remember to heat them up, chuck your joints out the box, some heat, some hair dryer to them. And work those joints and then some of the vests are kind of tough to get on you may have to heat up the vest to get them to connect properly 
but other than that, they're great figures, great weapons and accessories. Um, just wanted to do a comparison so you guys can see what you're getting in, on a, the official uh, offerings. And of course, you can modify them, um, kit bash them, you know, custom paint them, whatever you want to do to them to create your endless army of variations. So, but uh, that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the uh, followers action force still brigade action figures if you don't forget to like share and subscribe comment down below thanks for watching we'll see you in our next review